Well guys, here we are today, undervolting this Ryzen 9 5900X. As you can see, I'm not in my studio, I'm actually at my friend's Galaxy setup place, and he lent me his PC to do the undervolting. So, this one has an X520 Strix and 1500X with a 360mm all-in-one radiator. Now, the tutorial is gonna be good to reduce the temperature, reduce the power consumption, and actually slightly increase the performance. To do that, we will need to go in the BIOS, but you can also do it in Ryzen Master in Windows if you prefer. The settings are gonna be the same. So, let's go into the BIOS and let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. First thing we wanna do is go into the advanced mode. Now, the key will vary depending on the BIOS model. And then we want to go on something that's called overclocking tuning or AI tweaker. AI tweaker is for Asus motherboards. So we're going to go in there and go on the top and on AI overclocking tuner, be sure to put the OCP, which is basically the XMP to put your RAM to the proper speed. So that's the first step. You need to do that. At this point, we want to go basically all the way down until we find something that's called CPU core ratio. And you want to put 40 there. Now I'm gonna tell you more specifically what we're doing, but for the moment you just put 40. Now we wanna go on VDDCR CPU voltage and put it on manual. And here we wanna put 1.025. There we go, 1.025. Now you can hit F10 and the tutorial for static offset would actually be already finished. However, if you wanna spend a bit of extra time setting it up, you can get more performance. So the higher you go on the core ratio, the more performance you're gonna get. So for example, if you go to 41, you're gonna get 5% more performance. Whereas the lower you go with the voltage, the lower the temperature and power consumption is gonna be. So for example, if you have a very good CPU, you might be able to go to 1.0 volt flat, and that's gonna give you even less temperature and even less power consumption. However, in case you wanna go higher here, right? So to get more performance, you can actually increase the core voltage step by step in order to make sure it's stable. So for example, let's say I wanna get on the CPU core ratio, something like 44, which would be much faster. So in my experience with around 1.15, it's gonna be stable. So I can recommend that one as well, but if it's not stable, you might wanna try 1.175 and just go up 25 millivolt at a time. So the next step would be 1.2 volt. So this is the static undervolting option, which is made specifically if you're gonna be um, in productivity or if you want the lowest possible power consumption. However, there is also a dynamic option which will allow you to keep the core clock a bit higher. Now to do that, you actually have two ways. So we can do the curve optimizer route, which is what most people do. But with the curve optimizer, the issue is it's very hard to test for stability. So what I do recommend is a dynamic offset undervolt. So how do we do that? Well, we go on our core ratio and we put it back on auto, all right? So it will boost all the way it can. And then we go on VDDR CPU voltage, which is gonna be your V core if you have a different motherboard and put the offset sign on minus. Here you wanna put 0 0.05 because we have a minus sign. Now here, same thing, but the opposite. Since it's a minus sign, the higher you go in here, the lower the temperature. So for example, if you have a very good CPU, you will be able to do 0.075, and this is gonna result in the best uh, performance overall because the turbo boost basically adjusts based on the, on the frequency. Now, if you have a high-end board, you might have something called performance enhancer, which is basically a preset. And now you can use that and basically just set to a level that you want. And this is gonna give you some extra performance but it's gonna increase the voltage. So by giving it a negative offset, we're gonna get the extra performance without increasing the voltage. So this is a little trick you can use, but for most people, I just do recommend manual 40 in the ratio, 1.025 volt. So you can run this beast of a CPU even on air. So this is it. I have many more tutorials in case you're interested and uh, they're on the channel. I have playlists, please drop a like and a sub. And see you in the next one, guys. Bye.